Today, Problem Brothers bring you back to this project called The Minton within District 19. And if you're someone who fancy living in a 2 plus study unit standing at 1109 square feet, as well as within 1 kilometer radius from the Pai Leba Madness Girls School, and you also want an unblocked view towards the landed enclave at Surin Avenue, do follow Problem Brothers on this home tour. Let's go! So coming to the unit itself, some key facts about this project is that the Minton is a 99 year lease sold project, TOP in 2013, and this also means that we have a healthy balance lease of 84 years left. So we're sitting on top of a large land size of 27,800 square meters, and this means that we have a lot of ample space for facilities we will share a bit more later. So if we were to pull out the floor plan, we are a 2 plus study unit layout standing at a large 1109 square feet. So why do I say that this is large is because for projects that are completed in 2021 and 2022, the standard 2 bedded layouts are ranging at around 700 odd square feet and for 2 plus study layouts, they are ranging from 800 to 900 plus square feet. So at 1109 square feet, we are almost closing to the size of a 3 bedded unit. So coming in from the entrance, you see your kitchen and service yard, then you have your living, dining as well as your balcony. On the right hand side, we have the common bedroom, common bathroom, master room and its ensuite bathroom. And lastly, the study room. So enough of the hard facts, let's get started the home tour. So as you enter from the main door, you can see that the owners have already done up a full height wall cabinetry here where you can store your shoes as well as a display shelf where you can put your go-to essential items. Now the owners have also included a sitting area here so you can put on your socks and shoes before heading out. The owners have spent a total of $70,000 on their renovation costs and chose a very alluring industrial theme for the entire unit as you can tell from the dark coloured fixtures as well as the grayscale tones used for the flooring tiles as well as wall colours. As for the dining area, the owners have placed a very comfortable six-seater table over here and I like it that there's very sufficient walking space in between the wall cabinet over here as well as the dining table. And as for the living room, it is indeed very spacious because even after placing an L-shaped sofa, there is very comfortable distance in between your sofa as well as the TV console. So as for the balcony, it is indeed very sizable and you can choose to do your daily workouts here if you wish. And invisible grooves has already been done up but if you wish, you can also choose to install zip track blinds so as to enclose your balcony and you can choose your balcony as your alternative dining area if you wish. The owners have used timber strips to cover up their planted area so as to increase their usable space as well as to put more of their home items. And the unit has a north-south orientation from the balcony to the door so you do not get direct sunlight throughout the day shining into the house. And I would like to bring your attention to the view here at the balcony is because this is the very reason why many people would like to buy into the Minton is that if you are facing outwards, you get either the Surin Avenue landed enclave view Now, so if you were to put out a site plan, the Minton has a total of 1,145 units ranging from 1 beta to the 5 beta penthouse units with the 2 plus study layout type comprising of 13.8% of the total number of units. And our block has a total of 4 stacks, so you only have 3 direct neighbours sharing the same lift lobby. The most prominent factor about our unit here is that we are one of the quieter stack because it faces away from the bus, from the facilities and faces towards the Syrian Avenue landed enclave. And speaking about the location, Lorong Asu is actually situated in between Coven and Serangoon MRT Station where we are 12 minute walk away from Serangoon MRT Station. And Serangoon MRT Station is also an MRT interchange where you find the Circle and the North East MRT line. In terms of amenities, you have Next Mall, Heartland Mall Coven and Promenade at Pelicut for your daily groceries and food options. So in case you are wondering where are some of the places you can have your evening jog as well as to walk your dog, you have the Jalan Pelicut Park Connector as your nearest option, the Surin Avenue Neighbourhood Park within the Surin Avenue Landed Enclave or Coven Sports Centre. There are also also many parents who bought into the Minton because they wanted to enroll their kids into Pai Leba Methodist Girls School which is within a 1km radius and houses both the primary and secondary school. Other schools within a 2km radius include Sida Primary School, CHIJ Our Lady of Good Counsel, Holy Innocence Primary School and Mary Stella High School just to name a few. So we think that buying into a project that has a large density of over a thousand units and choosing a unit that has a layout that is larger than usual, this certainly helps to protect future demand when you are thinking of your exit plan.
And because it's a larger than usual kind of a 2 plus study layout, I think home could be very thrilled to know that developers have included also enclosed kitchens so that you don't have to worry of your grease and aroma spreading throughout the entire house. So over here you have your full-on kitchen as well as your hood with a triple burner hob as well as top and bottom hung cabinets. And you also have your bomb shelter over here where you can store your bulky items. So towards the back of the kitchen, you also have your bifold door leading towards your service yard where you can do your laundry here. The uh, owner has already placed a washer here but if you wish, you also can put up to a dryer above the washer and they have already installed a laundry rack here. And towards the back, you also have your own rubbish chute so that you don't have to have the hassle of bringing your rubbish downstairs. So next, let's talk a little bit more about the facilities here at Badminton. 50 meter lap pool and a heated pool, badminton court, a grand clubhouse, billiard and table soccer room, six commercial shops which includes a childcare centre and several other trade services to serve the residents here. So now if we were to look at some of the comparisons of the 2 plus study kind of layout with at least 200 units within the project, within the Minton, the price quantum is ranging between 1.45 million to 1.68 million dollars, PSF ranging between 1,300 to 1,500 odd dollars, size ranging between 1,087 to 1,109 square feet. We also have forest wood with 519 units, price quantum ranging from 1. 1.35 to 1.38 million, PSF ranging from 1,700 to 2,000 odd dollars, size ranging from 657 to 721 square feet, and then we have Bartley Residences, price quantum ranging between 1.48 million to 1.499 million, PSF ranging from close to 1,600 to 1,700 odd dollars, size ranging 904 to 926 square feet, and lastly we have the Gazania, which is a new project slated to be launched, price quantum ranging between 1.535 million to 1.675 million, PSF ranging from 2,200 to 2,400 odd dollars, size ranging from 678 to 700 square feet. So our unit here is asking at 1.68 million dollars or 1515 PSF. If newer projects are ranging from 1,600 to 2,000 PSF and new launches are inching above the 2,200 dollars PSF mark, so the entry price of 1,500 dollars odd PSF, the PSF price disparity will also mean that we have certainly some runway for us to catch up to our newer counterparts. With land scarcity, larger unit layout types are becoming rarer and what this means to you as a buyer is that if you're buying into something that's limited in supply, this could potentially spur greater demand when you're thinking of exiting the property in the future. And now, let's show you around the rest of the home. Now bringing you to the study room, all the bedrooms have actually been done up with parquet flooring. The current study room has been used by the owners as a play and study room for their kids where they store their toys and stationery. Now if you wish, you can choose to put up a single bed right here because there is only one small built-in wardrobe nearing the entrance of the room. Now alternatively, you can also choose this room as your personal workroom or workout room because of the north-south orientation which gives you ample ventilation throughout the day. And moving on to the common bedroom, what the owners have done is actually they have placed a platform here which can fit up to a king size bed. And uh, what I like about platform beds is that uh, there is additional storage here for you to store more of your bulky items and there is also a built-in wardrobe here as well. And moving on to the common bathroom, the owners have used an earthy tone which is very calming to the eyes and they have also used grey tiles for both the flooring and the walls and also used laminated wooden design for the mirror. The shower screen has also been done up using black frame glass panels to kind of separate the wet and dry areas. So overall the common bathroom is pretty well sized and very functional. So coming to the master room, the owners have placed a king size bed over here together with an L-shaped cabinet here with ample space for his and hers. And the developer has also included a bay window over here. And some of the ways that you can utilize bay windows is that you can actually add a tabletop here as an alternative space for you to work. Or you can also use it as part of your bed frame so that you can move your bed towards the window and free up more internal space for your master room. Coming to the master ensuite bathroom, it has been done with a similar fashion to the common bathroom as you can tell from the grey wall and flooring tiles. Even the fitting has been done out in grey colour as well. The WC and the sink has been done out similar to the common bathroom. And the main difference between the master and the common bathroom is that you get a larger ventilation window here so you can actually see a pocket view towards the Surin Avenue. But of course for privacy purposes, you can certainly pull out the blinds when you're showering. And we were to look at some of the future developments in the master plan. At a stone throw distance away from our project, Project along Upper Serangoon Road just beside Next Mall, it will be Singapore's largest polyclinic on schedule to complete by 2025. So what this means to you as a buyer is that if you were to buy this unit as an investment unit for rental play, if you were to rent out this unit at $5,000, this would equate to a rental yield of about 3.5%, which is fairly healthy in today's market.
And now we have come to the end of the home tour. Now if you are someone who is looking for a 2 plus study kind of layout standing at 1109 square feet and you also want to be within a 1 km radius from Pai Lebar Methodist Girls School, do give our listing managers a call with the numbers down below. And if you like what you have seen in this video, do remember to hit the like and subscribe button on our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. My name is Yong Jun. As always, happy to show you the place. Now we have come to the end of the home tour. <laughs> I get, I get get reminded by Oboro Gardens, right? When we both of us keep walking down. <laughs> I got... Go out, go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right.